everyone, so I am going to be doing my April favorites for you guys today. And I have a few um, kind of scattered beauty items, a few makeup items, a few other beauty items for you, so I'll go ahead and just get right into it. The first item is my new YSL lipstick. It's in the color 29, which is Rose Opera, and I'll swatch it for you. It's just a really pretty bright yet muted raspberry kind of color. It's just really super pretty, really pigmented, and it it smells really sweet and really nice too. And that's just one that's something I really love about YSL lipsticks, lip glosses. They just have this kind of really nice, unique smell. And speaking of smells, I'll go right into another thing I mentioned recently in a video, which is my Dolce Gabbana Rose the One perfume. I love the smell of this. I had it previously and I just recently got it again. It's not light at all, it's kind of a stronger smell, but it's a rose smell. And you know how roses just have this kind of strong aroma anyways? It's kind of the same way. So it smells like like fresh roses, like you just took a big whiff of a bouquet or you just walked through a rose garden or something and just really like it. The next beauty item I have is Anastasia's Tinted Brow Gel. I like this product a lot. I actually use a lot of blonde colored pencils, so when I was going to go get a tinted brow gel, I actually reached for the blonde one first. I purchased it, I actually tried it at work, and one of my coworkers was just like, this is not your color, and I said, no, I can make it work, and she gave me that look that I knew she was like, it's not going to work. So I actually went home, and I tried it out again, and I was like, this was not the right color at all. It literally is for extremely blonde haired people. It's not for people who have somewhat of dark hair. So I actually went back to Ulta, which is where I purchased it from. I said I purchased the wrong color and they have a great exchange policy that if you just don't like it, for whatever reason, they'll allow you to return it. I think it's within either 30 days or 90 days, but I didn't like because I got the wrong color and they very nicely let me exchange it for the next color down which is what I should have gotten from the get-go, and it is the color Caramel. This is such a nice color for my brows. It's not too dark. I tried the brunette color as well, and it's just, that was way too dark for me, but this Caramel one I initially thought was best for redheads, which it might still be really good for redheads, but it's also good for just light brown brows. And sometimes I don't even need to use a pencil when I use this. Sometimes I still feel like I, I do but it will just pretty much put my brows in perfect place of where I want it to be and give it a little bit of color at the same time. So thank you to Ulta for allowing me to exchange this and get the right color. Recently I came in counter with not the nicest of dogs because she actually scratched me, she scratched my face of all things and left a little bit of scratch mark and a scar and so I was a little bit worried about covering it up about scarring my face and I had purchased this a while ago and I know it was for stretch marks or for scarring and I just kind of bought it just to have it and it's bio oil and I've actually been using this a lot at nighttime especially on the parts that I have a little bit of a mark from the scratch and it's just done wonders it really has made the scar pretty much completely gone and it's a little bit there but I think that if I continue to use it it will completely take it away and I just heard that this is really great for stretch marks or for scarring, that it really lightens the the color of it. And I, I do agree. I think that this has worked really well for my scratch. So along with that, when I went to New York, I had purchased Make, Makeup Forever's Full Coverage Concealer. And I've been using this as well on my scar. And this has done such a great job. I think I still have a little bit of the scar right here. You can see it a little bit a bit left and I've just pretty much been using a small little dab of this. I'll try to give you a little bit of a idea of what it looks like. I literally, this is how much I can use for my entire face for a concealer, even if I'm using it under my eyes. It's just such a heavy good concealer that it just covers up everything. Between the bio oil and the full coverage concealer I've been really appreciative of this this month because I've been having to cover the scratch. Moving on to my last little favorite of April. 
this is something that I've had my eye on for so long. And what it is, is the brush cleaner. And it looks like this. And it's by Olivia Garden. And I'll show you the back of what it looks like. So basically this is to brush your brushes, to get all those little itty bitty hairs out of your brushes. I am not a clean freak, but I can get really like, I have to clean this, I have to get every little thing out of whatever. So whenever I get that way about my brushes and I try to pick out all the hairs and I can never get everything out, now I have this. So I have actually used this on all my brushes. All my brushes have no hair on them. I love this thing. It just really gets out everything, especially for my round brush that I used to blow dry my hair. That has so many hairs just stuck in it and now it doesn't because of this. So I've been loving this. If you are a clean freak, especially about beauty products, you might want to consider getting this. I got this from Ulta. I'll put a link below to where I got it from. And yeah, so it's got a small one on the end. You can see all the little parts right there. This is good for obviously smaller brushes. And then I got this big part for bigger brushes. And sometimes I'll use both sides on one brush. I'll get use this to kind of loosen it up and this to get the small little parts. But yeah, so I love this cleaner or brush cleaner. Amazing. So that's it for my April favorites. I hope you guys liked everything. I had a little bit of scattered kind of favorites for the month of April. And other than that, if you guys have any questions or any comments about any of these products, please put them in the comment bar below. I'll go ahead and answer any questions that you have or, any, or respond to any comments that you have as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.